Jeff with PhotographyOnline.com coming at you with a new video today. Today we're going to talk about uh, two news stories. Two news stories today. We're going to talk about the new drone regulations that you need to know about if you fly a drone for photography or any type of use, really. And we're also going to talk about the new Nikon D6 and why I think it is the last DSLR camera that you will ever see in a professional sense from Nikon. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about the new drone regulations. In the past, um, you go on to the FAA's website, you register for a registration number for your drone, you pay $5 and they send you an email. They send you an email about um, five, ten minutes later saying, giving your, giving you some basic rules and regulations and giving you your, your drone ID. Well, what would you do with that drone ID once you got it? You would uh, essentially take it, write it, take it, write it down on a piece of paper and, and put it inside the battery compartment inside your drone. Well, um, there is a few, there is an update to that now. They, uh, FAA is now requiring that you um, take that n uh, number for your, that registration number for your drone and stick it on the outside of the drone. Um, for one big security reason, the FAA thinks that you, thinks that um, people are now going to start putting explosive devices inside the battery compartments of the drone and exploding them once they do the bad thing that they're going to do with the drone if they run it over a airport, a military installation, or whatnot. So, guys, if you have a drone, you need to be sure to. Um, Make sure that you have your registration number on the outside. And a little advice, don't fly your drone over a military installation, an airport, or anything like that. It's just not back, not good. And you guys, people that do that, ruin it for all of us with the new government regulations. We want to keep creativity flowing, creativity free. We don't want government regulations to keep coming into photography, so to speak. Now the next top, next and final topic I'm going to talk about is the Nikon D6 that is rumored to be coming out uh, early this spring. The Nikon D6 it will have a 24.6, 24 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor. It will have, uh, it will have phase detect AF system on the sensor. It will also be an XB6 processor. It will be able to shoot 4K at 60 frames a second with a 10-bit output via via HDMI. It has electronic shutter, but as we all know as professionals, electronic shutter does not work very well. The electronic silent shutter does not work very well. I think it's ridiculous that they continue to push an electronic silent shutter. Uh, this camera will also shoot 60 frames per second. Um, this camera is also rumored to have the C, the Compact Flash Express card in it. And I believe, if I'm right, if I'm right, it's going to have two CF Express cards, CF Express cards inside the camera. It's going to have a tilting screen at two, two inch, 2.1 million dot touchscreen, tilting touchscreen. This is going to be great. I hope uh, they're able to choose your focus on the back of the touchscreen. I, I like those cameras that do that. And and this is what I believe. This is going to be the last professional Nikon DSLR as they move towards the future of mirrorless cameras. I think the only reason why they couldn't create this camera this year is because of the Olympics and because of the sports photographers. Um, next year in the 2020 Olympics are going to be in Tokyo, which is going to be the home, the home state, the home cut, the home state of Nikon and Tokyo, Japan. So I think it's a great marketing tool for them to um, say, hey, look, we have all of our cameras here. We have all of the, our, the photographers shooting with Nikons. I think, um, yeah, this will be the last DSLR, pro DSLR for Nikon as they move towards the mirrorless, mirrorless line. 
I think that the eventually in, a, in about 20, 20, 2020, 2021, they will come out with a D6 version of the mirrorless camera, which will be interesting to see because their first generation of mirrorless camera, as I've said before in my videos, is not that great. It doesn't have a battery grip, which I think as a professional photographer, if you're not using a battery grip, you need to start using one because it's going to give you two, the advantage of having two batteries and the advantage of being able to shoot in portrait or landscape without curling your finger up over the top of the camera to get to the shutter. Um, yeah, guys, so I just thought I'd make a quick video about a few regulations, a a few things that's going to be happening with the FAA and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and watching this quick little video today. Remember to like the video, thumbs up if you liked it, remember to thumbs down if you didn't, but please, please consider liking this video, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. I'm out of here. Guthrie Photography Online.com. Have a great day.